Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Rhoda Oika Kogmoy. If you like my content is around fashion, lifestyle and everything in between. Um, today is on Monday. Um, finally, going to fix this mess. This is very off-brand. Like I've been off-brand for like three weeks, two or three weeks. I don't know. Um, yeah, so I'm going to Turi. Come on, come on, come on down. But first, before I go for the nail appointment, I have to pass uh, by the CBD. I got a new pick a point. Praise God. Hallelujah. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm going first to drop the packages and then I go for the nails appointment. Um, it's around 11 a.m. I don't know if I mentioned that. So yeah, um, when I'm going for my money pedi, I, um, I never, I never plan for any other thing like strictly like a spa day, spa day, because theory is just like a spa experiment. If you've been there, you know. Um, so yeah, that's the basically the plan of the day and what a better way to start a week. And getting pampered, I love it for me. Um, I'm a bit late, I'm a bit behind time, <laughs> so I think I'm going to use the expressway so that I can save some coins. <laughs> not coins, there are no coins that I'm saving. Actually, I'm spending more coins. It's time, hey, yeah, when they say time, it's money. Yeah. Let me tell you, this express has become so expensive, but I think it's the life. It's not the life that I chose. It's the life that has been chosen for us. I don't think we chose this life. I'll be your hand guys. Right now I'm just rounding. Um, I'll catch you at TV. I hope you had a lovely weekend. Yeah, for me, it's only the first time I hope you had a lovely weekend. And I hope the week is off to a good start. So, yeah. The seasons come and go like thoughts of you Like a wave returns to the sea into the blue They change but in a cycle that I can't lose Each painful but delightful to live through Could not season, not for long, just a time, just like could not season. Maybe this time next year you'll reappear for no reason, but I'll cherish every day until you come my way this season. Turn and change just like your mind Like the sun gives in to the moon Into the night Time continues marching It slowly crawls With each new one starting I recall Hi guys, um, as the title suggests, I want to share with you my 2023 favorites. But before we get into, we get into that, I want to um, unbox like um, three three packages. Two are PR, one is not. So yeah, let's just get right into it because I don't want this video to be extremely long. So the first package is this one. Um, these are earrings. They're from a page called Katie's Closet. I've already checked. The earrings are so gorgeous. <laughs> 2020, 2024 is the year that I up my earrings game. So yeah, you can already tell, you can already tell. Anyway, we're not talking about it, Mary. Let's just check these ones out. There are a couple of pairs. I'll be trying them out and then inserting like a short clip on the side. These are so cute. So this is the first pair. Just look at that. Also, can you talk about my nails from 
theory at least i finally fixed this mess um we have decided to grow my natural nails so these ones are i think acrylics or natural nails um so yeah um i'll keep you updated on this journey but i really love this new set from Turi, Turi, Turi. In fact, they're in my list for 2023 favorites. Anyway, back to the earrings. This is the first pair. It's like a gold, they tangle all down. These earrings are the type that you wear when you're wearing a very, for me, when I'm wearing like a, like maybe I'm going for an event or a dinner and I'm wearing like a simple, um, classy, elegant dress. And then now this one will be like my pop of jewelry. I'll insert a mini. So that's the first pair. The second pair, Oh, this this looks so good. I have I've actually don't I actually don't own any earrings that look like this. These ones are acry acrylic. Yeah, so they're just clear with um with silver details. Mm, 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 mm. These ones are so cute. These ones are for a fun sunny day for me. It's fun sunny day when I'm just wearing like a cute sundress and you know these are really really cute. And then the last two they are miniature. Oops. I believe there's a time. I, I don't know if they're still in this type of hoops. I think they are. By the way, guys, I really tend to gravitate more towards um, gold. I feel like gold sits very well against my skin as compared to silver. Um, but yeah, this is the other pair. They're very light. They look heavy and chunky, but trust me, they're very light. So those are the hoops. Um, that's the third pair. And then lastly, there are also hoops, but now with that detail this detail that looks like a quasa <laughs> i don't know like can you see you can see the uh, detail that i'm talking about so that's the last pair you can get this and more just check out the page that put kitty's closet um their prices are pretty affordable i can confirm the quality on this especially on these ones on the gold it's really really good so check them out on instagram kitty's closet and come and send me later their prices are also very correct very ruto economy approved <laughs> So yeah, that's the first package. Um, the second package is this one. Oh, it's in this big bag. It's from... Let me just show you first. Ah, it's rice. Let me tell you. When I first opened this bag, like that aroma for Pishori, it just eat me. Like it just make you to... Like it instantly makes you want to make rice. Anyway, there's a note. Let me just read. I've not even read it. Um... Um, we are so happy to have you try our rice. It's a hundred percent pure Pishori rice from Mwea. We are based in Mwea, but we do deliveries countrywide. We hope you enjoy your Pishori. I cannot wait to get your feedback. This is five kgs. If you'd like, we'll be sending you more. Um, yours Njoki. Their page is called Njoki Pure Pishori. I'll leave their page link. Let me tell you, like I've not I've not cooked this rice obviously, but when I open this bag, like it just eat me that um pishori aroma like i instantly by the guys in case you didn't know my favorite meal is rice in any form shape i can eat like rice it could be boiling or two <laughs> like i really really like rice so um when i opened this okay i, I might have to open this guys um uh, before this video goes up i'll have tried this rice and given you some feedback in fact immediately after this video i'm just going to cook it um, I can't open it, but yeah, this is 5 kgs. Uh, I will leave the page linked. Again, I'll cook the rice and let you guys know how it is and just give you my honest review. But from where I'm seated and that aroma, I can really tell like it's good pishori rice. And you know, it's very hard to get like good pishori rice. But I'll give you guys my feedback. Thank you so much. Um, Katie's Closer, thank you so much. Njeri Pure Pishori, I really appreciate. And yeah, those are the two PR packages. The rice, I, the rice goes for... I think one eighty bob per kg or two hundred bob. I'm not so sure, but I'll link it on the screen. But that is such a fair price, especially in this economy <laughs> where you go and five kgs of rice in the supermarket. I think it's almost two k now, eighteen hundred and something. So save your coins. It's twenty twenty four. We are saving money to do other things with that money. Okay. <laughs> anyway, I'll I'll give my feedback, but I believe that's like a really nice price point. Um um, the other package is this watch um i've always wanted like this watch this casio watch with this type of face can you tell can you see this like it shows the numbers not there to say i don't know i don't know how to best describe it <laughs> but I'm, I'm so sure that you get what i'm saying but this is the casio it's a very vintage vintage watch let me just take this off so that you can see and i've wanted it for a while and i finally actually this page i just um i just stumbled upon it in the cbd 
and their prices were fair compared to what I see online. Um, so I'll leave the page linked. Um, I asked the guy for the if he has like an Instagram, but it's fairly new. Um, and he gave me the page, and I'll leave it linked in case you're interested in this or any other watches. But because I found like his price were his prices were pretty good. Um, so that's the first. I really love this watch. I wanted this watch for such such a long time. And guys, I am someone who likes the metallic straps. You will rarely, almost never, see me with a leather. Well, she just me. I I feel like the metallic straps they speak more to me. So that was the first watch. I got two watches from that guy. It's called I think the page is called Glitz, but the guy is called Anto. It was really the customer service was really good. Actually, that's how he convinced me to buy two watches. The other the other one is this one. Um, it's a it's a Daniel Wellington watch. Um, I like the simplicity and how thin and sleek can you see like it's like the smallest watch that i own it's very the straps are very thin it's very sleek um the face is square and it's white inside with a white inside they had like a black one but i prefer the white the white looked um better to me again in the rose gold <laughs> at this point i feel like majority if not all my watches are rose gold and black yeah so yeah they are both good you can get this from that page it's called glitz accessory something i'll just write it on the screen you can go get um i think they were both going for 2500 each each and i believe that is such a nice price and such a steal um these ones are about to be living on my wrist for sure <laughs> so yeah that's all i wanted to, to show you now we can finally get into what brought us yeah mm. um guys i bought a lot of things or rather i of course we, we throughout the year you buy a lot of things and all um majority of the things i liked but now whatever i'm going to show you there are things like stood <laughs> zilipita mtiani and azikapita sana like they were a students <laughs> um so yeah the things that i'm going to show you are things that i really really liked i have others like i'm not saying that whatever i'm not i'm going to show you i didn't like it's just that these ones um now um stood out for me um now where do i begin where do i begin i have like a couple of them let me start with the kitchen stuff um so that and then keep it moving so the first thing that i really liked in 2023 and that i'm gonna keep purchasing is this oil this is the canola chili infused specifically the chili infused i don't know if you can see can you see yeah you can actually can see the chili let me tell you this thing the chili like it's well infused like you don't need to add any more chilies like in your food or whatever you're cooking um of course you're cooking food what am i saying <laughs> anyway um you don't need to add like any extra chili in your food and whatever so this one is by a brand called pure mountain i found that i find their price point really good because this one is less than 400 it's 300 and something not unless in a panda but the last time i bought it was 300 and something i really love it the kick in the chili is everything but it's not something so if you have kids please don't use this on your kids because <laughs> the chili is really there the chili is li really chilly so i i use mostly i use this to make my eggs and it's it is fantastic i love it i like chili and this one is a good one so this one is the first one canola oil from pure mountain <clears throat> sorry <clears throat> sorry about that um so that's the first one canola um in canada from pure mountains the other one is this one i think i believe i've shown you this in this channel if not i think it's instagram this one is the lemon chili seasoning by melvin's this chili is so good you can use it on your mangoes your mahindi choma you can also okay you can also use on your eggs on your food like on your potatoes baked potatoes the chili is again really there the kakik is so good you see that um when you go to buy like um mindy choma from these roadside people or when you buy like uh, mangoes and then they put for you the chili now this one is the is it's like that chili but an elite one that has gone to group of schools <laughs> it's very well balanced and good and yeah so this one is my second favorite thing that i'm bringing along with me to 2024 is the lemon chili seasoning melvin's um i got this from I think I got it. I got it from Chandarana as well as this Chandarana. And then the other food stuff that I have is this. Um, of course, this one has been there for a while, but this specific brand, the Kentest, um, this is the coconut cream, not the milk cream. Let me tell you, when when I discovered this cream, it has been a game changer, especially when I'm making the fish, the creamy fish. It just takes it to a whole other level. This one is Kentest um, coconut cream. You can get it, I think, from any leading supermarket. Personally, I get it from Chandarana. And then, lastly, in the kitchen department, 
just a minute. I'd put them on the side. Is this at Indonesia? Like it's kidogo that's remaining. Is this specific oyster sauce? It's a Chinese one. Um, I, ch ching Kuo. I, obviously, I can't read because it's written in Chinese, but it's the golden label oyster sauce. Um, I've been gravitated. I've been gravitating more towards the oyster sauce than than ingine mitangwaji. The other sauce, the more the common one, soy sauce. I've been gravitated more towards the oyster sauce than the soy sauce. Um, I find this like it's it's more sweet and I don't know. There's just something good about oyster sauce and this specific one in this bottle is my favorite again from Chandarana and I believe that's it from the kitchen department um let's quickly jump on the beauty products because those are the ones that they like they are a lot um let's start in the shower um I'll start with the shower um what are they called exfoliated scrubs I have two um the bath and body works this this has to be my favorite 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 body scrub of all times number one because it has a glow it's a glow and then the the granules are not like it will not irritate your skin like i don't know how it exfoliates because it's quite smooth it lathers like when you use it like it actually lathers and then it smells so good but every time that i use this on my skin let me tell you I have never felt my skin any softer than when I use this. This specific, okay, not the specific because I, I have um, I have another one from uh, Pure Wanda, but you Misha, so this is the A Thousand Wishes. You can get this from Intimate Kenya. Honestly, this is one product that I believe is worth every coin. This is one product you'll never miss in my bathroom for sure. So that's the first one. And then there's also this um, scrub that I got from... Uh, this one I said is from Intimate Kenya. This one is from His and Her Sense. It's a tree hat. It's the peach sobe sheer sugar scrub. Now, this one has the granules of sugar, but it smells amazing. <laughs> it just smells like there's just that, there's just that capiche that just eats you. This one's sponsor when you, when you just, like your whole bathroom just smells edible. So these one, the granules are larger than this but it also exfoliates and it smells amazing and it leaves your skin like living super super good so my top two um the tree art peach sobe from his and her scents and bath and products but this one if i was told to choose between these two um um ironically because i know majority maybe majority of the people would go for this for me i would go for this my skin i i don't even know how to tell you guys i, I wish that you could <laughs> touch like my skin um um, my favorite body part by the way guys is my skin my skin from here downwards not my face we have been fighting with my face my entire life <laughs> but from here downwards that is my favorite body part and it's because my skin is extremely and I'm saying extremely soft I have like one of the softest skin out here so and I can give credits to this and also using glycerin like i also i always put glycerin in every moisturizer that i put on my body it has to have glycerin and i believe those two are the things that have made my skin like extremely soft like extremely so anyway favorite exfoliant this one is from bath and body works it can be in any scent that you like but so long as it's from this bath and body works who anyway now when you when you're still in the bathroom also got this um um, forming gel cleanser. Let me tell you, like a little goes a long way, and then it lathers. It's so good. It just smells heavenly. This, I only use this product when this this uh, like this shower gel, specifically when I just want to feel good. You know, there are those moments that you just go into the shower and you just want to feel good about yourself, and then you, you get what I'm saying. You get what I'm saying. You just want to pamper yourself. This is my go-to. This one is the Tree Heart. Again, it's from Tree Heart. It's the watermelon forming gel. This one just smells like watermelon, like pure watermelon. For <laughs> There's just that freshness and greenness of... See, the green leaves and watermelon just speak together with this smell. Without this smells. So that's like my favorite shower gel of 2023. I'm bringing it, of course, I'm bringing it with me. And then every time that I use this, I must follow it up with the, with the, with the whipped shea butter. These ones, like, they're the same. Um, still from Tree Heart is the watermelon whip shea butter. This one leaves your skin feeling extremely... And then just look, it, it looks it just looks so good. It fills your body and skin. It leaves your body and skin feeling very moisturized. Now, in fact, now that you've talked about it, I'm just going to... I'm going to scrub my body with this. Um, 
wash with this and lather this they're from the same family anyway these three art products these three i got them from his and her sense in case you're interested you can check them out they're really good and then when you're still in the bathroom i changed my intimate wash i changed it to this i used to use the other one the feminine something i can't remember the name but you know i'm sure you know it if you're not new in this channel but um i changed to this this one is the summer's eve um this one i got from Brooklyn, kenya it's quite big like it's four four 444 ml this one can i think can even go for a whole year <laughs> so i changed to this and so far so good i love it i love okay this one is scented but the scent is not like too much but i love i love 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 it i i i i, I prefer it to the other one that i was using so yeah definitely come with me to 2024 this one is from rolling kenya you can check them out on instagram and they have a physical store as well and then even more deeper oh god um, I, I don't know how it's name it. My, my, my all time bath and body works, um, scent is pure wonder in any form. Like this, the scrub, the mist, the lotion, the, the wall plug, like, I think pure wonder is just my scent. Oh, for <laughs> sure. This one definitely was with Tafari because I did part like that. Anyway. I really love this scent. It's fresh and it's very mature. Like, it's not like your ordinary bath and you know the the bath and body works products can tend to smell like very girly and very young and energetic and everything. This one is very mature. Like, it's for a mature woman. Like, I don't. It's fresh and it performs and it's really it's quite long lasting compared to the rest. So this one is will forever be my favorite scent of bath and body works. Pure wonder in any form and shape. I love it. Oh, I've seen. I've seen what is happening here the thing came out oh i need to open this anyway yeah you can get this from intimate kenya i got meant from intimate kenya let me just place it here Ooh. Mogika, mogika. and then there's this um the next one is this um deodorant stick um this one is um it's the um, club de new woman um there's a the scent the scent is very famous like the scent for this deal stick is very famous hmm it just smells so sweet it's just, it just smells like a woman I, I feel like that um the name is very on brand it's very okay it's just like a normal stick you, you, you whatever and whatever and it's um aluminium free now the only disclaimer that i have to give about this um aluminium and it's not only this one i've realized every deodorant that says it's aluminium free it's not long lasting like you'll apply and then at some point you'll feel mm, is that me is that me is that can i can i peep some scent but they say that the most um recommended in in terms of you know the other ones have alcohol and everything sorry i was saying um <clears throat> um the aluminium the aluminium refrigerants are the most recommended because they don't have alcohol of course and they and they they don't they say they don't darken your armpits but to be very honest they're not very long lasting so anytime i put on this i always find myself either i have to carry it to reapply or I have to like use the deal. In it, I'm watching it. Yeah, the deal. So, uh, but it smells so good. Like, it smells smells amazing. But for me, I've just found out that, and it's not only this. I have another aluminium free. I've just realized they don't. They are not as long lasting as the the others. But this one smells really good. And so, if you don't sweat a lot and if you don't mind reapplying, this one is really good. This one you can get from his and her sense. It's a really good one. I love it. Um, now that you're in the in the antiperspirant in you, you know, this one is another favorite of mine. This one is by Nivea. It's the Palen Beauty again. I t um, nowadays I tend to gravitate more towards the Dio sticks than the Rolons. I find like this, especially this one. This one lasts long. This one they say it's three times extra fresh. Iukipaka ata you'll never know how sweat smells in your entire life. <laughs> It works so perfectly for me, especially when I'm going to have like a long day and everything. I always make sure this is what I put on. You'll just smell fresh the end all the entire day. This one you can get from your local supermarket. It's from Nivea. It's the Pearl and Beauty. They say it's 48 hours protection. I can honestly attest to it. For me, it's very long lasting. Um, moving on. Uh, as I mentioned guys earlier that my skin... But mine only okay majority of the time it sometimes it can occur on my back and everything but majority of the time it's always around my face the eczema i have eczema prone skin and ever since i started using the la roche posay lipica range it has really worked for me the the range although when i went for 
my skin analysis they changed the cleanser i used to use the the one from la roche posay they changed the cleanser to another one and so far so good because they said i need to repair my skin barrier and everything and they recommend the good products by Larry beauty they recommend the good products for your skin based on your concern but they maintained they maintain the the cream and they maintain this the this what is this called um sunscreen um so this is the moisturizer that i use it's from la roche posay i said it's the lip orange it's for people with um eczema prone but i think even people who are not eczema prone can use i think so but yeah this cream has worked wonders for my face okay i've worn makeup today but it has worked wonders for my face and this is a sunscreen that i use that i also really really like this one is the la roche posay um invisible fluid yeah 50 spf 50 plus spf i really love this stuff it just leaves my skin feeling super good so the lipic orange from la roche posay has really worked for me in case you you have eczema and you're looking for like a really good ex the concept the balm is so soothing like i've not even had like any flare ups or i've not had to scratch my face or feel itchy ever since i started using this lipic orange so yeah that's definitely a favorite um keeping it staying with me for a while but the moisturizer not the moisturizer the cleanser um because i think i have like two bottles i might have I might have to give out those. Um, so in case you use the lipic orange and the cleanser works for you, just DM me on Instagram, Rhoda underscore you and be there she plug. Why you, why aren't you following me on Instagram? Like I ha I have how many followers on Instagram? I have fourteen thousand and something. But and here I have like seventeen point five. Like three thousand of you. See when you follow Instagram, please. I'm just trying to grow that page. Hello. Anyway. Roda underscore you you can follow me there um moving on um this one is not from last year but i honestly really had to show you this because i really like this product I, I even showed you this in my last um in my last video if you like wearing makeup this is really good like it just melts your makeup and then it just removes it and then you just feel like your skin is quickly clean this one is the hello um clean it's a brightening cleansing balm with pure vitamin c and it's suitable for all skin types it's bio balance i got this from bandari beauty and a little goes a long way so as much as this product might feel a little bit costly because i think i bought it for 3500 i i feel like it's it's worth it because it's going to last you a while and again you don't also wear makeup every day right anyway that one i had to insert it here this one is not from last year this one is from this year but i absolutely love this product um um the next one is this um uh, body oil this one is from nala organics this one is for okay i i have like i have another scent but i really like this one because it smells like peppermint i just love that freshness and i love the glow that oh sorry i love the glow that it leaves behind oh what is happening i love the glow that it leaves behind when you put it on your skin like it's just there's just that glow this one is from nala organics this one is forever love body oil you can check them out on instagram i really love this stuff um hmm. in the in the makeup i don't i don't even have a lot to show you about makeup because i feel i've i've just been using the same same products like i've been using over the years but the this bombshell entered the villa last year this one is the rich beauty holy grail 24 hours flawless for flawless foundation with 15 spf my shade is md27 um i really love this product but i hate two things i hate that it's very small so you might have to keep on repurchasing it every now and then anyway if the price i wish they had like a small one and a bit like two sizes so that you can just pick your struggle because <laughs> i always feel i always run out of this so fast and i have to keep on repurchasing anyway it's a good one i love the foundation uh the coverage the coverage is full like extremely full although it's suitable for people with um no more to dry skin i have oily skin so i can say like mm, after a few hours i always get oily so i'm not so sure it works so well with people with oily skin but personally it's a it's a struggle that i'm willing to endure because <laughs> i really love the coverage and i just i love how like it leaves my skin i'm um, feeling i always mix it though i mix with a uh, with the maybelline super stay because the maybelline super stay again i find it too much so i mix the two just to achieve like whatever i want to achieve but huda really did a thing with this foundation personally i absolutely love it for 1000 bob i really love it um yeah and i believe that's it for beauty and whatever i believe there's nothing i've left so let's get into the next session which is absolutely my favorite <laughs> sense <laughs> 
of the scents you've seen but i just said to insist like my favorites of 2023 number one it's this one elisa royal parfum i've talked about this fragrance i don't think i need to talk about it mm, anymore um i bought this fragrance last year actually it's not even the beginning like but i bought it last year and trust me it's already finished that's how good or rather that's how much in fact what are you doing dog <laughs> I don't think I'll ever get over how this perfume smells. Anyway, it's that one was a, a big, big, big hit for me in 2023. Definitely buying another one in 2024. So that's the first one, Elisab Royal. I'm not going to go into details. I've already talked about all these fragrances in depth in one in some of my videos, so you can check them out. Um, number two is this one. This one is Kismet by women like for women or oh, kismet for women this one is an arabic arabian arabic scent i got this from nabuf perfumes let me tell you this is definitely number it's definitely my favorite arabian perfume number one because it's very unique it just smells like a sophisticated lady there's just something sophisticated about how this scent smells that i've not found in any other scent that's why i love it so much like I, I spray this thing a lot and I just get like that classy, sophisticated woman grown. I tend to gravitate towards more grown scents um, as opposed to young and girly and I don't know. But this one, this one was a banger. This one is a banger. Kismet for women. And the last time I told you guys, you, you actually went and sold it out. But Nabu Perfumes nearly on our mail stock. So in case you are interested, I, the, I can't, uh, I think it's for that. I'm not so sure. But you can check out Nabu Perfumes in case you're interested. But this one, baby girl, I love it. Actually, um, I have a friend. I have a friend. Hi, Ivy. <laughs> I don't know if you're watching this. But I have a friend um, that only does niche perfumes. Like, She's very bougie. <laughs> she does not even apply the designer sense friends. But um, she had visited me uh, like a while back and she sort of got, she, she went through like my collection. And let me tell you, this is the only Arabian perfume that she approved of. She was like, what? This smells different. It, like, like what I'm trying to tell you, it smells different. That was her reaction. She was like, ah, I know I don't wear such perfumes, but this one, she was like, this one should buy. So that's how good Kismet for Women is. So yeah, that's that. And then I'll finish, of course, I'll finish with my favorite. And then there's this one, where I sell Liba. This one is a well... This one speaks for itself. I feel like it's been overhyped, but I also think that it's worth the hype. I got this last year as well, Nona Villain in Etumia. That's how good is it? That's how good I love it. The longevity is a beast. Like, okay, apply, me when I apply this, last entire day on my mini. This one is the intense version. And then lastly, this is my current favorite scent, like of all time. It's the it's a scent by Zajov. Zajov is a niche line, of course. Um, also, is this no? I don't think no. This is not the most expensive in my collection. The most expensive in my collection is MFK. <laughs> Actually, stopped. I, I'm sure I stopped wearing it because eh, Kali Wakanaisha. <laughs> I had to like really slow down. It's the uh, Bakarush 540. I'm sure you know that scent. But this one is, I think, my second most expensive scent, which is a scent by Zajoff. It smells. It's my current favorite, guys. It's my current favorite. It smells like money. This one smells like money. Everybody, okay, I don't want to say that because let me just not say that statement because I know you it can iramba, so let me just not say. But this one is my favorite. This one's this one. Um, if you want to experience like the Zajof line, they have like very, very unique scents, and it's one of the most expensive niche brand, by the way. Anyway, you can check out Phil, Phil Nzuri. I saw at least like they have like a majority. Kwanza, there's one that I'm eyeing for my birthday this year. Yo, hey, it's still by by Zajof. I think I found like my niche brand. For me, I feel like I'm really gravitating towards the the Zajof. Um, there's another one that I smelled when I went for that event, and it hasn't left my mind since then. Now that is what I think I'm going to get for my birthday. But in case you'd want to sample the Zajof um, locally, you can check out Phil Nzuri. They have like most of the niche brands, and they are the official distributors in Kenya. So, yeah. That's that. Those are that's it about fragrances. I bought a lot of fragrances last year. I'm not saying that I don't like, but I don't like them. But these ones, 
these ones are my favorite um moving on now i don't think i'll go in any particular order i'll just go through everything else this cut thing this cut thing i got from little more kenya little more yeah it's called little more it's like a it's a grooming kit i think they're called grooming kits but this is i think first of all i like the color let me tell you ever since i bought this thing i've not i've not i've not i've not it has not left my bag so these are it looks it comes with a nail cutter um a tweezer and some other a nail file and a, are these called scrapers i don't know the ones that you remove um that from your nails um but mostly the the thing that i use the most is a nail cutter it never leaves my bag and it's a fave i like that i have everything like even when i want to use a tweezer like i have everything in my bag so i don't need to worry about that you can get this from little more i think it was was it eatable it was very cheap i don't know if they still have it but this one definitely a buyer <laughs> next let me go to bags mm. this bag you've seen it a million and one times it's because i leave for this bag it's very small okay not it's okay it's a it's small yeah i think i can categorize it as a small bag i just love the color the browns um the browns really speak to my heart and i love that they had this um fabric over here that just contrasts the brown it's just a very simple bag not sure if nala organic still have them in stock there's a time i saw that it's written sold out but you can check them out i got it from nala organics again a firm fave i love 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 this bag um yeah the second bag that I got last year was this one. If you watch my vlogs, you saw this one. This one is from Aldo. Um, I sent um, someone who had traveled. Ooh, I've looked for this. Okay, this is how you find things. I've looked for this pen for such a long time. I didn't even know it's in this bag. So this is how the bag looks. Again, it's very small. I don't like big bags. I like carrying small bags. That's how it just looks on the inside. Um, it's from Aldo. I saw Aldo now have a store in Kenya. You can go and check it, check them out but that's how it looks i like the strap i like the metallic and then the leather on the side but that's how simple and chic this bag looks i love it so much i carry it a lot the only thing that i don't like about it is how easily it gets that <laughs> like i just have to keep on wiping <laughs> that's the only thing that i don't like it but i think anything that comes with white it's an inevitable and then um lastly in the bag department is this i love this bag so much this one was a birthday gift okay let me just remove um why am i just finding my pens like today i can they have been suffering i've even been writing with a red pen eh? thank god um anyway this is this is one of my favorite bags Ooh. let me just remove this it's one of my favorite bags. It's a tot. It's a carrying tot. I got this from. It was a birthday gift. It's from Sandstone Kenya. The quality is really good. It's very stylish. It's very chic. The leather straps are pure leather. You can even tell like they're pure leather. Like very extremely strong. I love this bag, especially when I'm carrying my laptop or when I'm traveling. Is a carry-on bag. It's very cute. It's very chic. They have them in different colors and sh and shades in case you're interested. But yeah, this one was. Bang. I love 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 it and that's it um, in terms of my favorite bags from 2023 um, let's get into the into books because I'm already holding them anyway this one was my favorite book of 2023 it's the nearly all the men in Lagos are married <laughs> this book is one word funny hilarious you will laugh and if you don't laugh you have a problem <laughs> this is really good this one is i'm sure you've seen it everywhere but it's worth the hype then the second one which was also very um hyped is this one it ends with us i need to read the it starts with us but this one was really good the story is good it's good i love how Colleen like does a storytelling so this one it, it's it ends with us those were my top two books after each 23 not that i read a lot not that i have a, like a collection to go by but i, I really enjoyed this too among all the books the i think i read like five out of the five is one of my favorite of 2023 and let me go to the next um category i feel like this video would be too long but you know what i'm trying to hurry up the other category are shoes um, I'm not going to be showing clothes by the way because I feel like if I show clothes you're gonna leave here and I've shown you majority anyway I've been doing like the whole so you sort of have an idea of my favorite um, clothes um, in terms of shoes 
these boots are everything that I ever dreamed of in a boot. Um, these ones are, were also from, these ones were also a birthday gift by Shaz. Thank you, Shaz, and tell. Thank you, Shazzy. I really love these um, boots. Mine are in our, this one is um, dark, dark brown, yeah? Is it called a dark brown? And then, who? And then the, the eels are in rose gold. That's how it looks. Um, for me, because I don't wear eels a lot, they are not that comfortable. Okay, I, I don't wear eels a lot, guys. Okay, Nikoile Edge, this is a very big heel for me. But if I'm going like on a night out and somewhere where I'm not going to walk, they're perfect. I love them. So that's the first pair. These ones are from Baushik. Baushik, if, yeah, I'll leave the page linked. In case you're interested, you can check them out. The others are also boots. Now, these ones, in your length, Sasa Yangu. In your length, yeah, Mumama. <laughs> no, this is the, the the height that really like works for me. But they are also sock boots. These ones, like these ones, can pass for like an everyday wear. I really love them. Like I literally abuse these boots. I like that I can pair them with a dress. I can pair them with um pants. This one I call. I got them from a page called Does Shoes. Again, I link them. They're just like sock boot, like so. Um, this one I think is silver and black. Um, I feel like 2023 was my year for boobs because why am I showing you boots? These ones, these boots, I love these boots. These ones were a gift. I feel, wait, these ones were a gift from Butter. Yeah, I got them from Butter Kenya. I love the color again. You can tell that I have a thing for these browns. And um, this one is just like such a good quality, and I'm saying the quality is to die for. Okay, I've still stuffed it because I don't want to, to lose the shape but that's that you can get these ones from butter they are very comfortable the material and the quality is extremely good so yeah those were my favorite shoes or boots for 2023 and then lastly are these ones that i got from mrp i've been loving them so much i love i only wear sandals that only have this part i don't do like the back strap or i don't know i just like simple like this one these ones picks to my soul so these ones i got from mrp i believe they're still in stock because i got them late last year so yeah those ones um I'm, I'm i'm sure i'm going to to wear them out in this coming year um the other thing next up is this um card diffuser that i showed you guys again in another video it was also a gift it's from minonoi um again it smells amazing it makes you car i feel even you don't necessarily like have you don't necessarily have to put it in your car. I feel you can also diffuse in your rooms. But okay, for them, the intention is just for the car. But it smells amazing. Oh, ho, ho, ho. it smells so good. So this one you can get from Illinois. It's very good. Good for the car. I love it. I think it doesn't have charge. I need to charge it. And then next, um, this bed. This bed was such a... Um, good purchase especially because it's custom made by a fundi it did such a good neat job but i would only recommend him because he has only made a bed for me guys okay he made the stand for me for the perfumes but in all honesty and i'm being honest with you i think even in that video i didn't mention i didn't talk much about him i didn't feel like his work was like a hundred percent neat as i would have loved it to be it's okay because it was a trial and error because it was a design that i came up with it's not like a design that he had done before um let me check on tafari first yeah um it's not like a design that he had done before um i can give i can cut him some slack but if i would recommend um i would recommend that you use him only if you're going for such type of furniture the tufted beds or the tufted seats because this this was really neat his name is mutuku i leave him linked on the screen i really love this bed mine is a five by six and i think it was going for he made it, I think, for 30000 if I'm not wrong. Um, the other thing that is my favorite are those frames. I will insert like a better clip of it here. The frames, these ones are from Art Plaza. I've talked about them a lot. <laughs> I really, 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 really love them. They, I feel like they changed the whole look of this space and they're very neatly done. And uh, I love them. Like, I like the floating um, frames, the aspect, everything. She did like such a super, super, super good job. In case you're looking for any size, and I'm saying any size from the smallest to the biggest, check out at Plaza. Come thank me later. Um, yeah, I think that's it, like in terms of the bedroom. Um, again, um, because okay, I will just insert the rest, I'll just insert like on the screen. The other thing that I really loved from last year was my washing machine. That thing was a game changer. I got it as a steel. 
like it was basically as uh, that machine um i think it's currently retailing for 86 86 thousand and i got it at car four at 50k like i said a whole 36 thousand like it was a steal it was just like a one day steal uh one day sale and i happened to sample about it upon it and that was the best that was like one of my best purchases of last year it has really helped like in terms of laundry in this house um at least we are no longer struggling with that so that one was a, again a very very big hit it's a lg um not lg sorry it's um vaughn it's a 9kg one it's the steam, steam assistant it cleans i do not have any complaints so far it's very straightforward i love it i would highly recommend it um the other thing um it's my whole tv unit area from the tv the experience is quite different by the way the experience of a big tv and okay the other one was the other one was 55 inches and this one was no, I think the other one was either 55 or 50, I can't remember. But this one is 65. The experience has been good. I love it. Like, it just changes the whole experience. And my TV stand is from KE Crafty. Um, Again, they did such a splendid, splendid job. Like, that whole area, even from the sound bar. The sound bar is JBL. We also got it last year. Uh, like, that TV area, like, the experience has been extremely amazing. That was like one of our best things um, about last year. I don't think there's anything that I've left about 2023. Um, I'll not be talking about my wigs because um, I love a lot of them um, and I talk about them anyway a lot here. So yeah, but this one was also a banger. I got this last year from Eliza Human Hair. I really love it as well. And I believe, guys, I have plugged you anything, everything that I really love from last year. So in case you are waiting to see if my reviews these ones that these are things that i would vouch for like extremely hundred percent vouch for because they have worked for me i've used and tried them for a while and they are yeah i would recommend so yeah mm, that's it and of course i cannot end this video without telling oh there's another there's there's, there's another category even right written down my best show my best show i watch a lot of shows and i love majority of them but the one show that really stood out for me because it was very hilarious the sense of humor in that series like really got me i just kept on laughing and it was really good go check it out it's on netflix it's called obliterated i'll leave the i'll leave the poster over here so that you can see what i'm talking about it was such a funny show i loved it and um i watch a lot of youtubers um but two um two people that that uh watch like who started their channels last year like specifically 2023 that i really enjoyed their content there are two there's linda mudoni i love that girl's content i don't know i don't know i just love it i don't know it's how she talks i don't know i there's just there's just something that i really like about linda mudoni so in case you've not watched her videos please go you would not be disappointed number two it was shaz and tell of course shaz is my friend but i really enjoy her content i feel like my content and her content they are more or less the same <laughs> i feel like we are one almost one in the same person we are also born on the same date i don't know anyway i really enjoy shaz she started last year um i have a lot of youtubers of course that i watch and love but i'm just i specifically picked the two because those are the ones that started in 2023 and I feel like they're doing such a fantastic job and I enjoy their content in general. Um, yeah. Oh, and there's another one. Okay. She's 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 both a YouTuber and can I yeah, I can call her a YouTuber, but um it's our teacher. Our team call her teacher Sue. <laughs> the social insider. The social insider was also a really big part of my 2023. Um if you're a content creator and you're not following the social insider, I don't know what you're doing with your life <laughs> she keeps on educating us and gives us gems around how you can navigate this social media and content creation and influencer like area um how to work with brands how to grow your brand and all those things that you need to know as a content creator please follow and check out the social insider come and thank me later she she really knows what she's doing she's who she thinks she is anyway i think that's it for this video i know it's been very long i it looks very long I'm guessing it will be very long, but thank you guys for hanging out and staying up to this point. I hope you picked a thing or two, maybe that you can add um, to your collection or whatever. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. Thank you for always coming back. If you haven't followed me on Instagram again, please just follow me. Go follow my page, Rhoda underscore where you are, and help me grow on that side as well. And yeah, don't forget to spread love and kindness, like confetti, like share, comment. And I guess I'll see you in my next one. But you guys, you can tell me in the comment section, please. Tell me in the comment section 
um, what type of content that you'd want to see more of in this uh, like in the new year like yeah uh, you can give me ideas on things that you want me to show you but things of course that are within my my niche which is fashion beauty lifestyle so things that you'd want to see more of please comment in the section below and i'll definitely make such videos anyway i guess i'll i guess i'll see you in the next one take care of yourself have a lovely week ahead and yeah spread love and kindness like confetti until the next one bye